Hi. It's a beautiful baby girl there. It's gonna be a nice dog right here. Look at those paws on him. So this is the biggest puppy in the litter. If you're gonna be breeding dogs, you should care about them. You should love them. And these little dogs, these little puppies gonna be somebody's best friends. Hello everyone, thanks for joining, we live. Welcome to another episode of the Exotic Borbo Breeders. We got our two week old African Gorillas. The monster puppies is here. They two weeks old, we're getting ready to do some worming out. We're gonna clip their nails, we're gonna weigh them up. We're gonna get a good look at every single puppy and try to identify some distinguishing characteristics. Although they're not able to, you know, the temperament is not really developed at this time completely. We're gonna get a visual on the puppies. We're gonna get a weight on the puppies. We're gonna weigh them up. We're gonna see how they feel in my hands. We're gonna really take a good look at these pups. So first up, let's start with the big boy. He got some poop on him. We got something for that. So what we got here, we got our scale. Gotta have a scale because you gotta weigh the puppies up. You don't wanna give the puppies too much. We're gonna worm the puppies out. We got the worm medicine. This is for humans. Consumption is so you know it's good enough for the dogs. It basically is pyrantel base. It's pyrantel pomate, if I'm saying it right. It's good enough for the humans, and you're gonna give that at a rate of one ml for every 10 pounds. I already got this prepared. So these puppies, I'm guessing they're about three to four pounds each. But we're gonna be exact with the weight. We're gonna start with this big boy. 2.96, oh, 3 point, 3.0, 3.0. We're gonna just take this, gently put it. It tastes good too, it's like a peanut oil. Then we're gonna just get it, take it down from 10. See, they like the taste. Oops. Yeah, so you're just gonna get a puppy. Take it down to seven. There we go. Yeah, so you got a little, and they do that sometimes. The mom was out for a second and they, so I got my towel here ready. So we like our puppies to be nice and clean. You we we ready for that. If mom was here though, she would, this would be her job. And mom has been doing a really good job with the puppies with this litter. But it's clean, especially for a first time mom. I'm really pleased she got a lot of milk. Now, this puppy's got a, some real distinguishing characteristics. Got that nice heavy bone, got some real mass to him. I like his head, I like his muzzle, I like the flatness of his ears across the top. So, we look back at the dad, we look at the grandparents. We look at Cairo, we look at Pancake. Got high expectations for this boy. It's gonna be a nice dog right here. Look at those paws on him. Look at them, look at them paws on him. The thing about that is it doesn't really say much if you're looking for a working dog. But I like that he's calm in my hand. As bad as we want the puppies to blow up and be running around having fun, it just takes time. They'll be there soon enough. But right now, this is the pretty much the totality of it. Hi. Hi. I forget, I don't know your name. Mr. Orange Collar. Like this puppy, he's got a lot of pigment. Never had a care in the world you see. Have you heard from the sky? He doesn't look as large as that other pup, but he's still carrying some weight. Wow, his, his paws look like they're a little bigger, though. So we got some nice bone there. Eyes starting to open up. 
12 days. So we're gonna give them 2.5. Summer snow. It don't taste bad at all. I tasted it before. That's how I know. It's got a vanilla-like smell. This is really important too because we want to save mom. This will encourage her to nurse. These things are like razor sharp. If you look and you can see. And you dream about this very night when the moon runs down the summer sky. Could it be the morning of the spring? We don't hit the back claws. We want to worm the puppies out. You see his stomach is nice and full. It's going to even flatten out some. And you'll see his body start to, his body will start to get more muscle tone and mass there. And he encourages the growth. All puppies are born with worms if they get it from their mom's milk. The more you love, the more you live. Never feel like going back when nothing seemed to be a drag. These cookies, puppies, Laundre Black Teddy. Cookie is off of Pancake in Cairo. We're at the puppy ourselves. You can go back through the footage, you'll see. We're gonna clip the puppy's nails. So if you got questions, or if you got questions, we're gonna have a frequently asked question session. Starting with one of the most common questions or biggest questions is, you know, let's start with the history of the bourbon. The bourbon comes straight out of South Africa, right? How did it get there? It's not exactly 100% the dog from South Africa, like a native per se. This dog arrived in South Africa with the settlers in the 1600s. Interesting fact that I found out with the history of this breed is they were used primarily as the war, a war dog. When they say war dog, that means like they went into people's villages and you know used the dogs to go to war on people, sick the dogs on people, things I'm not gonna even go into some of the atrocities that they use the dogs for because we don't wanna portray the dogs in that light. But I was really surprised War is nothing nice at all. That's, that's, that's light. That's just putting it light. You can go into the history of the American Bulldog. Same type of history where the dogs, you know, arrive with sailors on the ships and they are also used as a farm dog, regarded as a farm dog. But they also dogs of war. It's really interesting if you're into history. Let's bring it all the way forward. They were developed in South Africa alongside farmers and they protected the farmers primarily from marauders, people that would come and steal. And you know, it was wartime. So war activities were going on and it was really primitive at, at that time. So they needed a ferocious dog. Anyway, it, it's developed alongside the farmers. I guess you can call them farmers, but they was also soldiers. And it's a soldier's dog. They strong, they can be dangerous. And I'm trying to just really put these things, these words lightly. I'm trying to find the words, put it lightly. They dogs of war. You read until your legs gave way. Then you cried and got back up again. It's another form of tactical stimulation. Getting around these paws, that's really good for their neurological development. And you see all the puppies is comfortable with that. The fundamental difference that I found between the Borbo and the American Bulldog is that the Borbo was not used as a catch dog. They didn't do any of the bull activities. It was strictly a companion, protector, defender. It's a beautiful baby girl there, baby blue. It's our second girl. See all our puppies nice and calm. They used to being handled. They're not screaming when we pick them up. Everybody nice and relaxed. That's a good sign. Next up is the chocolate meal. Have you heard about summer snow? That puppy is uh, that puppy is gonna be about three and a half pounds. 3.42. Yeah, I can feel it. So this is the biggest puppy in the litter. It almost got a blue hue to it. One of the best things about Teddy is he is like strikingly beautiful. 
I mean, he's just a handsome dog. His coat, the way it shines, a lot of the puppies look like they picked that up in his litters. It looks like he's, it looks like he's throwing that in his litters. So I'm real excited about the pups with that mass that we already have, with the athleticism of Black Teddy and his overall beauty and to the totality of that dog. If you look at the totality of Black Teddy, and he's a young dog in that last video that we just posted a couple videos back. He's, a, he's, a, he's still a young dog. He's only 14 months. And you, if you don't know, African Borbos, they still don't reach complete maturation until they're three years old. When you cried and got back up again And it's real the thing that I could fly Just a black collar puppy. Cross a broken bridge in the feeding line yeah, Whoever knows, these are some big dogs. They got some big bones, they got some big paws. That's another reason that we like to use dogs that's relatively unrelated. I mean, the color is a nice thing, yes. Yeah, it's cool that we're gonna get some black puppies, but more importantly, we got fresh genetics. We're not just putting dogs out because uh, they're in related to one another or chasing after like what's popular. We're trying to keep the dogs healthy. That's important to consider when you're breeding dogs for long term. If you plan on having dogs for years and years and years, like for the rest of your life. So we want our dogs to be healthy first and foremost. Main thing is health and longevity. One of the worst things to do is have to lose a dog. One thing for sure, a dog is gonna be there for you. There's some unique markings. This puppy right here is the one with no collar. Yeah, it is, it is. You gotta be careful with these clipping of the nails. I'm gonna try to get close up so you can see really how I'm doing it. I'm just hitting it tip. You definitely don't wanna go too far back. And you don't wanna make it a bad experience, you know? Because they got a nerve back there. It's like hitting the hang nail. It's really painful, I would imagine. You just wanna hit the tip. No collar puppy. He a little lighter than the other pup all the way around. Don't have as much bone, mass, but like I said, he got a lot of developing to do, and it really ain't fair to say one way or the other how the dog is gonna be. Pink collar puppy. Do you ever feel like going back? You're like the smallest meal. When nothing seemed to be a drag. So I wanted to say something else too. I wanted to clarify too. I wasn't really um, the other day about one when I was going in on the other, on the, on the breeders. I'm talking about these guys, I, I guess the ones that I call the cheaters. I really should have called them greeters because they don't care about their dogs. That's my issue. It's not about being a novice or not knowing. It's about neglect. That's all I'm saying. If you're going to be breeding dogs, you should care about them. You should love them more than going out and hanging out with your friends. The dogs are supposed to be your friends. And these little dogs, these little puppies gonna be somebody's best friends. Even though the dog wasn't as, he's not as big, the features, he's not very, he's not far behind in weight. And still, he still got the, it's just as big as of a head, just as big of thickness in the bones. So weight should be secondary to his structure. That doesn't mean that he any less of a puppy. And in fact, I seen a lot of puppies that start off the larger puppies don't end up. I'm gonna give you the best case of it that I know is with Joku. Is a another Cairo son was the largest puppy and ended up being the smallest. But that doesn't take away anything away from his value. He still is a high value male. We're gonna do some protection work with him a little later on. So with this litter, we got eight or nine puppies in this batch. And you see how I'm handling the puppy too? So I'm teaching the dog early on that I'm in control. See how I'm holding his digits in place, holding, controlling the head. So there you have it, folks. Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. If you, if you like the episodes, what we got going on and you wanna see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe. And that way you'll get the notification on your phone Turn the notifications on. 
If you turn the notifications on, you'll get, the, get them on your phone. So don't forget to do that. We got another litter. I'm gonna give a sneak peek. They doing well. It's been a rough, maybe that's what's going on with my, thought I was ready, y'all. I thought I was back. I had a first good night rest, but we have been, well, yeah, I ain't gotta tell you where I've been. You know already. What's going on? Got one black male in here, four black females, one brown male, two brown females. This female. The dad is Black Teddy. I was just getting ready to say. The same father as the other litter. We did a video with him previously, two, three videos ago. There's also a couple other dogs in the videos that we was mislabeled, but you get to see him in action. Beautiful dog, really beautiful dog. This was a rough one right here. We ended up losing three, four puppies. Ain't that right? We tried to do everything we could, but we happy for the blessings of eight. Eight is plenty. It's enough puppies for her to, to feed without issue. Benny, you all right? You okay? You all right? Please start wiping your puppies' butts. All right, y'all, we out. Don't forget to hit that website up. We'd like to get more information, complete details on the dogs. Borblepuppy.com is the website. Thanks for joining, y'all. See y'all in the next episode. Do your thing.